Coventry City, they stun Wolves. They're Play down, the audio. Just they're hit down the goal audio. in stoppage time. In stoppage time, they get one to equalize. And then, lo and behold, here they come again, pushing for a winner with extra time beckoning. But no, no, no. We got no use for extra time because what we got is Haji Wright. Let's listen to it. What drama this would be. This is O'Hare. He's done brilliantly since coming on. In it comes. It's set back. Oh, they have won it. It's Haji Wright. Oh, uh, listen. What a moment. That is that is literally a forever moment in the FA Cup. That moment for Hadji Wright, just, just exceptional. Like a wonderful moment. That is him engraved in the FA Cup. The FA Cup doesn't throw up many shocks for Premier League teams anymore, but this is one of them. And just, he's had, I got to see him play for the New York Cosmos, Andrew. Um, his career has been, like he's only 25, but... He's, he started off the Cosmos in 2015, Schalke, uh, Reserves, Schalke 4, then he went to Sandhausen and Low, VVV Venlo, uh, Sondoreski, Antilia Spore in Turkey, and now Coventry. Like he's had one of the, the journeyman careers, uh, but he's flying now 13 goals in 25 And made a World Cup team with that. Made a <laughs> World that. Cup team as well. Yeah. Like um, He's one of those guys where he, he feels like maybe a little bit out of place because of his size. You know, you're thinking... Uh, you know, he's six foot three. He's technically decent. Is is he just like a kind of a throwback player born out of his time? But like just a, a, a actually really, really good technical finish as well. Strokes at home. Before I go on about Coventry, you've got a list. So when I list. so when I saw that goal go in, that yes. felt like that felt like a, a a truly special moment. And for an American to be at the center of it, obviously for me as an American soccer fan, it felt even more special. I, I tweeted right away. Wow. Trying to think of a list of the biggest goals scored by an American for a club team. Not sure where this ranks, but a 100th minute goal for a second tier side away to a premier league club with a trip to Wembley on the line feels like it should be on that list. Yeah. So, so I thought about it now, admittedly this is like back of the napkin type stuff i i can't say i went through like the encyclopedia of american soccer history so i'm sure i have missed some here and i and i'm enlisting help I, like i'm not saying that my list is Just gospel it, i want help definitive. from the people yeah, i want help from the people for the ones that you think i've missed but i've already here, helped you by the way so here are the five i'll say right now you just heard the haji right one so i won't play it again i do i have that in top five i have i have it fifth Maybe that's recency bias. Maybe a lot of this list is, but I have that one fifth. Number one, JJ, it's one of my favorite goals ever scored, uh, certainly by an American player. I put number one, Clint Dempsey, uh, for Fulham when they completed their unbelievable comeback against Juventus in the Europa League in 2010. Yeah. Here's what that one sounded like. It's to who? Dempsey. And Dempsey will try and chip one. Wonderful! What a goal that was. Incredible. I mean, just the chip over the keeper, the drama of it. They had, they won that second like 4-1. It was a ridiculous comeback against Juventus, for God's sake. Fulham. Fulham. Yeah. Uh, number two, JJ, one of the greatest rivalries in all of world football. Uh, and to see an American score the winner at the very end of stoppage time. I put Morris Adu's last second goal for Rangers against Celtic. I put that number two on my list. Kevin Thompson's corner. It's Pagera. Boric stops it. Boyd. crucial in them going on to win the league that year right yep yeah i think that one was in february so there was still some league to go but yeah it was a huge one uh number three on my list i have christian pulisic scoring uh for chelsea in the champions league semifinals against real madrid first leg 14th minute he got the scoring started for chelsea here was that one he's found pulisic there's no flag here it's christian pulisic courtois held him up but pulisic has scored and Chelsea take the lead with a goal from Christian Pulisic. Yeah, that's a crucial goal on the way to winning the trophy. Yeah. And then uh, number four, this was a little help from you when I was kind of digging through and trying to decide. You you submitted this one, and you're right. It should definitely be on there. Uh, 88th minute Champions League quarterfinals, Leipzig and Atletico Madrid. It's tied, and Tyler Adams 
uh, on a big deflection, but still counts just the same. Uh, Tyler Adams sent Leipzig through. Tom by Sabitzer and Angelino has got him behind here. And he's got support from Adams. It's in. Two and a half minutes left to play. Leipzig are in front. Tyler Adams, with the help of a deflection, has scored the goal, which has put Leipzig on the verge of their first Champions League semi-final. Yeah, it's one that's probably been forgotten, as well as the Pulisic one, except by us, obviously. But because they were played in the COVID tournament times, uh, empty stadia, etc., that, that it, it's, it's easy to forget about them, they, but they were crucial goals. Yeah, so I'm sure, I mean, I, I have in front of me, I won't read them off here, but I do have the other ones that I was considering. Um, but I'll be curious to hear from the people on what should be on there, because I will admit that there is... There is a little bit of recency to this one. Um, you know, d- was there some like Chirundolo goal for Hanover that I've forgotten? Like, uh, help me. I-, I want I want to see them. Send me the videos of them. I, I want to see the ones that you think I've left off that, that should have been on there. 